All right, YouTube, 116 Falconer here. All right, so after uh, magnet fishing there the other day, I went through to, to uh, you know, look at all the, the fun things we got. You know, trying to find out. It's like, hey, maybe I found a freaking meteorite. You know, these, these uh, sticky rocks and shit. So after an exhaustive... I mean, like, I, I spent like five or ten minutes scouring the internet. I think I've been able to, uh, to debunk a lot of this stuff here. These here pieces are probably slag or some natural occurring, I can't remember what they call it. But apparently, meteorite cannot have all the holes in there. All right. The rest of this stuff, there was one that was pretty cool, but it turned out what it was was a metal clasp that had rusted around it and came out looking like an arrowhead. So that's that. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff, like I'm saying, they're, they're, they say there that anything that has holes and pox and this and that cannot be a meteorite. So that leaves me with I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight little pieces. Now, out of them, I'm going to assume that these ones probably aren't because they're very similar. All right, they're magnetic. Um, the other thing, oh, this one here, which I thought was the most intriguing, apparently is not, okay, because you do this, uh, scratch test on a porcelain tile or, you know, the bottom of a coffee cup here, and if it leaves a black mark, if it leaves a black mark, it's like, uh, a hermaphrodite or something, and if it leaves a red mark, it's a uh, whatever. But so you can see how that's it looks like lead from a pencil. So this one I'm gonna I'm going to kick aside, even though it's the heaviest. It's it's pretty heavy, and uh, it just looks pretty cool. So the other ones I have, then that leaves us with. Uh, seven okay this one here is a one this has all the characteristics of a meteorite now the other thing I found was I found uh, meteorite identification you know like people finding them in the ground or on the you know with metal detectors but I but what happens when they're in running water do they wear down do they so anyways this one here all right, which is magnetic. I mean, all of these are magnetic. All right. You can see that's magnetic. Um, I took it down on my crappy-ass little bench grinder and ground it down. I really can't see what's in there. Let me take the uh, wide-angle lens off and we'll try using the macro from the camera it'll macro it I don't know it may may have macroed it with that wide angle on there but I don't know okay so that's the inside nobody comment on me chewing my nails either sons of bitches I'll climb through this camera and kick your ass no but uh, um, when you do the uh, scratch test even on that section I ground down, it, uh, wait, wasn't doing it before. Alright, so it's leaving some sort of color on there. You know, that might be a, one of them hermaphrodites, or whatever they call it. 
I don't know. Because it looks like all the pictures I've seen. So, when you do it here on the regular side, see all it does is really wear the, uh, wear the um, ceramic down. So, yeah, I don't know if that's wearing a ceramic down. I mean, this other one, here, you can definitely tell it's coloring it. And you don't even have to rub that hard. So, um, so we got that. Then, uh, like this one here, that looks like just a regular regular stone All right, you can see some metal in there and this when you do that that test there this doesn't do nothing see here it's wearing that down but so I don't know you know like I say the odds of me finding a meteorite in this shithole area of the world I live in is probably slim to none but hey you know whatever it's kind of fun so if anybody has any ideas if these are media rights or media wrongs um, these other little ones I'm not sure what they are I got, I gotta hit them with a probably my Dremel tool because these things are small but like I say you can see like this one here you can see metal in it so and they're hard they're very hard you know these ones here the majority of them I could just break with my fingers um, these ones see there looks just like a regular pebble but it is magnetic as you can see I mean, all these are. So, if anybody has any uh, any ideas, this bigger one. And of course, this one here, really magnetic, but I'm assuming that's not. So, uh, all right. Well, that's it. Media right, media wrong. You be the judge. See ya, bitches.